Okay, we're in, we're in. Good morning, everyone. Um, quite an exciting first morning for me. Welcome to Juma, welcome to Safari Live. My name is James. Um, we're following a pride of lions, new lions for me. I've never seen them, I don't know who they are, so maybe you can help me out. Um, there was a lion, she's moved off, so we're gonna try and follow up and see if we can follow them. Okay, here we go. So I don't know if anybody can see these lions. Maybe you can help me identify so them. I heard them chasing a herd of buffalo this morning, probably missing. And it looks like they're settling in for the day. I suspect this mist will lift fairly soon, and they will then just go and rest in the shade. They will go and rest in the shade and do what lions do best, which is nothing. Uh, I would say he's between like two or three years old. The young male there we can see is probably about three years old. <laughs> yeah, and so the gene gene dispersal is through the males. So the males, uh, he'll get kicked out and get chased into a neighbouring lion's territory. Perhaps somebody can send through some information on this pride for me. If any of you know the history or you've seen them, uh, you can tell me what's going on with them and who they are. For a single male to take over a territory, very unusual. So what will probably happen if he's lucky is he'll find another male in the same predicament that's also been kicked out, that's also alone. Oh yes, I need to tell you that too. It's hashtag Safari Live for Twitter. And the email address is. Yes, that's right. So because they are being chased all the time. Questions at wildearth.tv. He's going to end up establishing his territory more than likely far away. Well, apparently, the pride dynamics here are changing, where that young male is likely to be booted out fairly soon by two much larger adults who've come into the area. Um, unfortunately, fairly standard practice for lions, but he's not big enough to look after himself, so he'll be okay. As far as I'm aware, there aren't any small cubs here. And as I'm sure you all know, uh, infanticide is a, is a large part of lion behavior. And big males coming into an area like this will normally kill cubs that are below a year old. But I don't see any youngsters that age at the moment. Gander vehicle that has been following these lines through the bush this morning. 
It's a fantastic way to start doing this exciting new thing, Game Drive Live. As the mists lift. Just like I'm sure some of you have got house cats, you can see the lioness in front of us just cleaning herself there. Either that or she's got a thorn in her foot, which is quite possible. Imagine walking through here barefoot, but like Mark. And then the story that Ian is talking about synchronization. Good synchronization. So what happens is the, the purpose of the males is obviously to recognize, but also to protect the territory to ensure that they can survive, grow up and survive, and uh, or reach, uh, reach adulthood. If something happens along the way, and some bigger, stronger line of the jump. That's the male there. Oh, there we go. Got a bit of action. There's some little cubs in the ground. Those new lines will kill, kill them. And then what happens is, within a month of the, the cubs being killed, the lioness is not coming. So the lioness moving through there, you'll see them forging social bonds by just walking past two or three of the members of the pride either rubbing heads together and then moving on or lying down next to them. And they seem to do that to maintain the social bonds within the pride so that they know or feel some kind of cohesion when they're hunting or when they're resting up there. So he mates and then goes off thinking that he's produced and nothing happens. 